All right, if you are looking for love in 2023, we are here to help you. Yes, our next guest is an elite matchmaker and dating coach. And Laura Jacobs is joining us live in studio with some advice on how we can find our person this year. That sounds so happy, right? We all want that happy ever, happily ever after. How hard is it to do, Laura? Well, I think you need to look at last year and what happened. You know, you need to look mm. at your relationship resume. We look at our jobs, what happened, what position lasted the longest, what didn't work out. Huh. You need to look at dating like that. What could you do differently? What okay. didn't work? What worked? Yeah. I always say, you know, compare it to a job. That sounds like taking the emotions out of it in some way. <laughs> it's a little analytical. Yeah. I think, unfortunately, with dating apps, that's how people are mostly meeting their mate these days. Mm. You really have to look at it. Yes, you're looking for that love connection, but what can you do to find it? I think it's a numbers game. You have to go on mm. a lot of dates. Yeah. And you say, like, don't dwell on the dating failures. I mean, because we've all been on bad dates. We've yeah. all had, re obviously, relationships that haven't worked out. So what do we take from that? Yeah, I, I think that if you get into a relationship and you know it's going to be bad, it's going to take you probably longer than the relationship itself to get over it. So what does that cost you? You know, so I, I work with a lot of women that are just like not over this one guy. And I'm like, what is that costing you yes. on your clock, on your, you know, if they want children or whatever. So you have to try to get over it and be yeah. open to new love. That's so funny. It could be like a week and you're thinking about it four months from now. Yeah, you can date someone for four months yeah. in a situation ship and then just be hung up on them for like yeah. a year. I've seen it. It's terrible. You've wasted so much time. And you've right? wasted like, yeah, how much is that costing yeah. you? Okay, so we got to move on. <laughs> Look for those new opportunities. Are they in the dating apps or where do you find new opportunities? I think you want to tell your friends, even tell your uh, friends that are coupled up, hey, I'm looking for this. You know, this yeah. is what I'm really looking for. Does your husband have any friends? You never know where you're going to find that connection. Obviously, dating apps, but if you see yeah. someone you like in person, you should go up to them because it's so rare these days. Uh, what do you have to lose? Okay, you could get rejected girl. or you could find a connection. Right. Nope. How do we rejection? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants hard. rejection. No. It's harder uh, for women, but I, to the men, true. you need to go up to women. Uh, do uh, it. Uh. Yeah. So how do we, you talk about like telling our friends what we want. How do we sit there and figure out really yeah. what it is we want and what's really going to make us happy and be honest with ourselves, right? I think you need to make a list, just like going to the grocery store. If you go there hungry without a list, suddenly you're like, why did I buy all this junk? <laughs> this is so everything bad for me. Good. Yeah, uh -huh. everything looks good, but this is so unhealthy. Like, why did I just just eat if yeah. you go on a dating app and you're just like swiping for fun and you don't know what you're looking for suddenly you're just like oh how did I like end up with that or on this date so make a list get specific you know if I could wave a magic wand for you I tell this to my clients who I match make for what would he or she look like what would they do like get specific you may not find that exact thing but it really helps. Yeah, you can't be too picky. Right, right. I don't want you to get too picky. <laughs> Make a list of like what is a non-negotiable uh -huh. and uh, what yeah. can you, yeah. you know, be flexible on. Um, I liked you, you talked to us about the song, You Can't Hurry Love. Is that something you sing to all your clients? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. If they're looking for 2023, can it happen for them? Yeah, of course. I think it's really important to not have an air of desperation or rush. And that is really hard, and I definitely work with a lot of women specifically on that who Biological are like, Biological class. Yes, in that rush to have yeah. children or like find the one. You know, I'm like, you can't get on a first date and have this energy of like, oh. I haven't had kids yet, it's your fault kind of thing. And you know, so that's yeah. it. You have to appreciate the cycle you're in, have mm. a lot of self-confidence, and know that love will find you. I feel like mm. too, because I've, I've seen it with friends, you know, in our 40s that are, stay in a bad relationship because it's like yeah. well I've devoted three years of my life yes. so far and I really really oh. want, want kids and you think from the outside I mean you're not seeing it when you're in it right but from the yeah. outside it's like this is not good yeah because <laughs> having kids is a huge decision so I do tell women like that like well are you sure you want to be connected to this person forever because right. yeah. that's how it works yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good point yeah oh a lot of things that could go wrong yeah. or could go right. Could Laura. go right. There's so yes. much right out there. Laura, thank you. Yes, thank you. We need so much more advice from Laura. So find her on Instagram. She is at Laura the Matchmaker. You'll get so much more dating advice. Thank you Thanks. so much.